Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is your boy, the Crypto Siege. What's well, another day in the life and a crazy life that is the digital asset space? Good evening. I just had to hop on here. I had to, had to just get on here and just uh, talk a little bit about DAI, the digital asset investor. I actually did his first live stream. His first live stream, and I'm like, first of all, two things. Right, cruise amazing. You guys heard about that, know about that. But the last couple three days, I was not feeling well on the cruise. Brought that home, got something else. Don't know what was going on. Uh, now I got actually kind of, you know, I got the stuff in the chest kind of going on. Just, you know, postponing, uh, you know, business appointments and the whole nine. So it has been crazy. And in addition to that, my computer went, you know, said, said bye-bye. So the computer's totally gone, the motherboard, something, you know, and thank God I backed up my stuff, you know, months ago in anticipation of it going out, even though I, you know, I, you know, put an SSD in the thing. I, I mean, I, my laptop, I had an HP Pavilion 15, so, you know, uh, you know, old, 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 old thing. And uh, so I did back it up, you know, put it on an external hard drive, and I did do that. Uh, but you know, you know, I, you know, I was getting the battery messages with it, so I thought, you know, that was it. I so, you know, put it, you know, tried a couple of replacement batteries, that didn't work either. Finally, took it into like a Best Buy, and like, what's the deal? They like said, doesn't matter if 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 you're getting the the adapter power thing saying that it's giving power, but yet it's not coming on. It's something with the motherboard. It's it's not the batteries or replacement batteries, is what I was told. So uh, the last couple of days, I have been, you know, uh, you know, just kind of covering up and trying not to freeze to death and go to Best Buy and look at some computers. And I think I've decided on one, so I'm out to go get one. So I thought I would do a video because it it is uh, it's about time to get a laptop. So hopefully, the third time is a charm, and I will get ahead and move forward with buying I'm not I don't like spending money like every time I think about spending money I'm like okay I was gonna spend this yep I'm gonna go get some more of the greatest digital assets ever created right and so I go get some more XRP instead and so uh, but I do have to realize that this is an investment this is a business investment and uh, I can't be relying on my girlfriend's Mac you know, I have to go ahead and make that, you know, make the move. So, uh, so hopefully tonight it will be, will be the one, uh, I'm looking at an HP. Let me, I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Let's talk about the digital asset investor. Did a live stream. So, so these guys, they meet up in Las Vegas at a, obviously at a, at a digital asset conference. Turns out, I mean, it's, you know, it's a bunch of XRP people there and, um, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, back up Brad Kimes is there with Cryptopolis, Mr. B, you know, the whole nine. This guy had over two, Digital Asset Investor had over 2,000 people in the live stream. Over 2,000 people in the live stream. Unbelievable. Wow, 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 right? Amazing. And so I commented, because he said in the beginning of that video, he was going to show a picture of himself or show his face or something. He's going to show his face. He said, I was, I'm going to show my face type deal. And, and so I commented, or, you know, I don't know, fairly early in that stream that if he sh does a live stream and he shows his face, that is the all tell sign for me to go ahead and do a live stream and show my face. He did not show his face. He showed a picture of himself. But in any case, I, I love listening to the stream. It's about 45 minutes long. And uh, he had he had the people there that were with him. He had each of them speak. So Cryptopolis spoke. Brad, of course, back to Brian. Brad Kime spoke. And Dustin Plant Holt. And uh, Mr. B spoke. Uh, the official neighbor dude spoke. And uh, I think there was uh, some, some, some couple of XRP community members who were actually from Vegas. Uh, one of them had a chance to speak as well, if not both of them. And so, uh, yeah, so it was very, very cool. But I just, I was really paying attention to the digital asset investor and the things that he was saying. And, uh, you know, for me, it's it speaks volume of the, of the kind of dude that he is. I haven't met him, so I don't know. You know, but it does, to me, it, it does speak volume 
volumes to the kind of guy that he is because he really talked about important stuff and I, I I remember when he said that you know you know he was Mr. B had reached out to him and sent this information and he said the digital asset investor said he was going to call him you know but he was he was the digital asset investor you know made it clear that he was very careful about who he was going to associate himself with right and I think that is so important and and it's it's so funny because the more and more you meet, the more and more you hear about different people in this community, in the XRP community, uh, the more and more you find that they're just, a, you know, you know, a bunch of good guys looking to win, right? Looking to hopefully change the legacy of their family, you know, but they're doing things the right way. And I think that's so important that, you know, that you're part of the community and you're doing things, quote unquote, right? the right way and you know for me you know I, res I really respect people like Brad Kimes and uh, I really uh, I respect people like the digital asset investor I'm a big fan of the modern investor and to be quite honest with you I don't think his name is mentioned enough uh, in the space in the XRP community I think it needs to be mentioned more uh, because I think he he's another one of the people you know he may not be strictly XRP uh, if you will, but he is a big time XRP fan, right? And so I consider him a, a big time XRP community member. And he may, you know, choose to, to make his channel very, uh, make it general, but he makes no bones about it when it comes to XRP. And he's a fan of it and everything that, that they, they've done. And so, uh, and, and gosh, you know, he's got, I don't know, 100,000 subscribers and, you know, it's been around in the space for a long time. Uh, you know, doing videos in the whole nine yard. And so I think, you know, he needs to get some credit as well. But people like that is, you know, why I decided to do a channel. Um, <clears throat> you know, I wanted to do a channel that, you know, that, that came from a, a different perspective and that I really wanted to make sure that it, it was about business. It was about money. It was about um, okay, awesome. We're, we, we've, we've chosen to save and invest, and, uh, and are, we, are we continuing with that and doing it in an intelligent way? You know, because for me, the heartbreak of heartbreaks for me will be for XRP community members to win, right? To get the win in XRP that we're all expecting, and then have it go all the way, you know, that they blow it on crazy, crazy things, right? And so that's why I always talk about leveling up your IQ in the digital asset space and leveling up your um, XRP IQ and, just, and leveling up your financial IQ. So when the things uh, that we all expect to happen, happen, we are uh, prepared for that, right? And we eat, and we do things going forward that is uh, that's smart, and so that's why I like Brad Kimes' channel so much because he brings people on to kind of who who will help us get, uh, you know, get those things done. Like the the uh, the crypto tax fixer, I believe is his name, Mr. Connolly or Donnelly. Gosh, I can't remember now. Can't remember his name, but you guys know who he is the crypto fixer that Brad times has on this show and so i think that's important right that in, in having dustin plant hold and having cryptopolis right and you know you know smart people that can help us make smart decisions um as we continue uh and uh learn and get better and when the moon happens we got to be prepared guys and so but that 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 live stream from the digital asset investor was um it's pretty cool it told me a lot about him um you know like you could tell he has a sense of humor uh, I, we all know about his work ethic. Uh, we all know that, uh, you know, he, he gets one of the most important things of success in any arena. And that is obviously to show up. Right. And so we get that. He shows up on a continuous basis. And I think that's phenomenal. It's a great example for all of us. And uh, I just I love the way he handled the people there. And, you know, you know, he it's funny, too, because he's not used to the live stream. And so, you know, he's just kind of mentioning any it was a ton of uh, chats, tons of chats. Right. And, you know, if, uh, for me, I, I was I felt so cool seeing that because it just, you know, for me, it says that the people, the community really, really expect really, really respects what he's done. And I think at the closing, someone said something. I think it was Cryptopolis who said, you know, you know that that channel was a channel. The DAI's channel 
was the channel that they got you know a lot of the community the xrp community through the the bear market right through the tough times and i know i know for me that was certainly the case because I, you, you needed that extra voice to say you know what you made the right decision that you're doing the right thing right you, it, it it helps to have that extra voice and i know the dai was one of those guys for me uh, that helped, you know, going through the bear, you know, through the bear markets. And, you know, I, I thought, you know, I thought it pretty interesting that CKJ Crypto News showed up uh, to the stream. I thought that he would. I thought that he would. And I tell you, I, uh, I uh, was, I don't even know the words to say how the digital asset investor handled that. And uh, I'm like, wow, I, I can't wait to meet the digital asset investor. You know, I, I you know, I can't wait to meet the guy. Uh, I, I thought it very interesting that he pointed to CKJ's work ethic. And he made a point of, uh, uh, not giving he used the phrase not giving up I thought I thought that very interesting I thought that very uh, I don't I don't even know if I want to say honorable or I you know I, I what I will say is I can't wait to meet the digital asset investor. that's what I will say uh, because you know we all have choices and we all, you know, we, we live and die by those choices. And I think that DAI made a choice. And I, res I, res I respect the dude for that. I, like, I respect the dude for that. You know, and uh, to me, it says a lot about the guy. So I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to meet the guy, to be honest with you. Can't wait to meet the digital asset investor. I'm, you know. You know, for me, I'm you know, I'm about meeting good. I'm about meeting good people in this space and uh, and and growing and you know, changing the legacy, if you will. You know, some of you guys maybe you, you guys come from a wealthy background. <laughs> I did not. I did not. Right. And uh, you know, I had to work hard to to get that little, you know, little. Uh, you know, those gigs, right? That little six-figure gig, right? So I just, uh, I appreciate the good people, right? And so I appreciate the good dudes. And I appreciate, uh, you know, the guys who get it, like, who just kind of get, you know, get people and, and understand that people are human and, 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 and get that no one's perfect and all that kind of stuff. And I, I just res I, I respect the the way he handled that, and so uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was pretty cool, and I think you know for me that says a lot about that guy. And uh, gosh, you know, excited for these future meetups and all this other kind of stuff that they're talking about. Obviously, definitely knew that that was a thing. And for me, it you know for me, you know, I it, for me it said to me you know sometimes you know. Do a lot of training and different things like that, and I talk about a lot of times. I'll I'll, I'll use the word the the enemy. A lot of times I'll use that phrase, the enemy. You know, the enemy is tricky. Like the enemy will get will will try to make you think that the person on the other side of the microphone or the person on the other side of the table that's sitting with you at the table is the enemy, right? That the coworker or the boss is the enemy, right? Uh, when the reality is the enemy is the enemy. And what I mean by that is, you know, jealousy is the enemy. Envy, wow, that's a big one. That is the enemy, right? That's the real enemy. Jealousy and envy and competition. You know, I, I've never been one for, you know, comp I, I, I be my, you know, I've never been, I believe in create, creating, right? Creativity. I've never, you know, Jay-Z had one uh, saying in one of his raps, he said, you know, I look in the mirror, I'm, uh, I'm losing myself, I'm stuck in the moment, I look in the mirror, my only opponent, right? And so, uh, and I, I think that's huge. 
And so, yeah, very, very heartened, if that's a word. I was really happy to see that and uh, how things, you know, how things were handled on that front. And uh, I, I thought it was pretty cool. So I'll leave it on that. But definitely excited to see that live stream. It was very, very cool. Hopefully, guys, I'm going to run in here to this Best Buy, hopefully, and come out with a laptop so I can do some more videos uh, or do some more and, and do some more and do more of these live streams and, and get this thing going, hopefully. And uh, it's going to have to be with the sore throat and the stuffy, you know, the clogged up chest, you know, and that that type of thing. But I know you guys will put up with me on that on that front. And so, guys, I hope you guys are excited. I know kind of crazy things are going on. And the space is just getting better and better. Uh, what the guy, someone else came on board. Was it somebody Mel Nicky? Was it Ben Mel Nicky? Uh, gonna be looks like he's gonna be down at the office, the Ripple office in D.C. Uh, it, it just get it just gets better and better. And guys, I'm not sure if you're if you can uh, feel it or see it. I don't I don't know if there is if if this if what's been happening these last two months is the writing on the wall. I just don't know what is. I just don't know what, like, what is. And so, you know, when it comes to, you know, how are we going to fare as a retail investor? I don't know. I don't know what the powers that be are going to do. Um, I, I think uh, with the DeFi space and the way that it is, and the way it's coming about, it's it's going to favor the retail investor. Um uh, because I don't, I don't think, I don't think that, you know, I don't know, but I don't think, you know, I, I watched something the other day, interestingly enough, uh, gosh, it was on Netflix and it was the, it was some, it's just this Netflix series or documentary slant series about, uh, this book, this book of secrets, right? This book of secrets and, you know, you, you, you know, you watch one and the next one, five seconds later, another one's coming. And so we, we started watching that from the beginning. But one of the series, one of the one of the shows was about um, coming off the gold standard and uh, about how uh, one of the Roosevelt's seized, you know, made people kind of turn in their gold. Remember that? Interesting thing, made people turn in their gold. And so, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's hard. It's it's it's. Not knowing is the trickiest part because what are they going to do with the retail investors that hold the XRP? Uh, I think the good part is it's not a lot of people. And so I think the DeFi space will satisfy uh, the powers that be, if you will. Because what I mean by that is the DeFi space allows us to hold on to our XRP um, to, you know, to, to bear and take interest on it, you know, instead of just holding it, if you, if you know what I mean. Because I think there's a difference between having it on your Legend Nano S and having it uh, on, a, on a DeFi, uh, on, a, uh, on a Kava Labs, uh, or on, a, oh man, the Coinfield people, the thing that they're doing, I forget the name of that now. That's a difference, right? Because that's that's being used. That's being used. You know, I think the biggest thing is that they what they don't want is not that there's a lot, because there isn't a lot. But I, I hear, I heard it's uh, over fifty now, over fifty quote unquote accounts with over two hundred and fifty thousand XRP, right? And so the danger isn't that and isn't just holding it. Uh, I guess they won't mind if they cash out because they're kind of going to cash out to these different exchanges and then eventually, ultimately, the people, the powers that be will be able to get that XRP. Uh, but it's the ones who are going to hold and hold and hold and hold, right? And so we'll see how that goes. I, I think the DeFi space is going to help us. Um, I don't see, you know, uh, uh, what is it, the powers that be, you know, putting their hammer on us and just, taking it and say this is the price that you you can get for it you can't do anything with it um i don't see that with the DeFi space because i think again with the DeFi, which is the decentralized finance uh you, you're putting it to use when you put it on that platform you're going to gain interest or and 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 do the cdps and the collateralized depositions and so i think that'll be a saving thing unlike with gold 
right? <laughs> right. There's not a whole lot of things you can do with gold uh, back then, especially. So, so we'll see. But it's exciting times. Can't wait to get to that Ripple office in D.C. If anyone knows that that place is up and like has lights on and people in there with some furniture, uh, please let me know because I would definitely like to swing by there. Uh, for sure, but exciting times again, guys. Again, if if this is not the writing on the wall for uh, the ginormous entity that is Ripple and the greatest digital asset ever created is XRP, I just don't know what is. I just don't know what is, and I'm, I get this kind of sneaking suspicion. I don't know that that they, quote-unquote, are not going to let Bitcoin... I, I don't know. It's like I feel like they don't, they're not going to... Oh, that they're not going to let it win. Almost had an accident in the parking lot. It only takes two to make that happen. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, yes, I, I don't know. I, I, I Something that's like telling me like I got a few, like I got a you know a little bit of Bitcoin and you know I get right to the point where I'm gonna trade and just get XRP and then I don't I keep on it's not much it's only you know not not a whole lot of XRP, uh, uh, BTC but I get ready to trade it and then, and then I don't and, and then I rationalize oh well you know I just made a couple hundred or two hundred and I'm buying XRP with it you know you know I'll, I'll use the extra two hundred that I just made on Bitcoin and put it in XRP but it's something that's telling me guys that. I don't know that I don't not that the, I don't know. I don't think the digital asset space is not going anywhere. That's that, that's done. I just feel like th that there's something that, that maybe possibly trying to go on with BTC with Bitcoin. You know, and I just read this article about, you know, how the futures, you know, the futures last time dumped the Bitcoin price and now President Trump is trying to sabotage the Bitcoin price or what the what is going on like I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know uh but we is, we don't know what they these agreements behind doors but what if XRP is the one and they collectively you know the powers the Japan the Russia the China's of the world decided it's the one and we don't need a Bitcoin thing I just I don't know but in any case guys where XRP holds most of us here right and so uh, so anyway, that's kind of my deal. But again, if they do do that, it's not much. It's not. It, I don't have much BTC. It's not. It's not even worth mentioning how much it is. It's not that much. But I just I think about that every now and then that they're gonna try to do something to bring a demise or you know something to Bitcoin. But they're gonna raise up this other digital asset. So it's not the digital asset space. Um, but and I know we all need Bitcoin. We all need all the digital assets, the ones that real projects to work. And so we'll see how that goes. And it may just make Bitcoin, you know, where it gets to, it's just, it's just going to be second best. It's just going to be number three. You know what I mean? Uh, so that might be the deal there. So, uh, you, and you, you never know what that might look like. You never know what that would look like in price. But so anyway, guys, I hope you guys are excited. Exciting times. Man, oh man, this whole ODL thing and, and and Alex Cobb doing, you know, charting the volume and all time, it's just about as all time high and it's just about to reach the real all time high. I think it was, was 1.7, something like that. And so in transactions per day, so 1.7 million. So yeah, it's ramping up. Uh, MoneyGram's thing is about to come. I can't wait for that report. That's a thing. And so it's just like, it's exciting to be an XRP holder. It's just a swell. It's going to be massive. There's a reason. I'm telling you, it's a strategic move to bring XRP YouTubers to swell. That's not out of the kindness of their hearts, right? Uh, there's a strategic movement behind that, reason behind that. And I'm excited about it. I'm so excited for all the people that, that, they, that are going to get there. I know they're going to bring a lot of stuff back to us. Um, I get excited, quite honestly, about the digital asset investor saying he's going to be doing more stuff in the space. Uh, for me, that is a huge, 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 huge sign. You can't have enough XRP YouTubers, in my opinion. And and when you get the bigger picture, is when you understand and you get the bigger picture, there's plenty of room for plenty of us, right? And the old... 
uh, in the old online internet marketing space, everyone has their tribe and there's plenty of room for all of us. And so I uh, hope the, the people that need to hear that hear that message. There's no need for competition. There's no need to compete. There's only need to create. And once we do that, we're in a good spot. So listen, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, yeah, miss you guys. Definitely miss you guys. Never, ever forget this, guys. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in, where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating? Or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know. That the battle for you has already been fought. And the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye.